All right, welcome back to week 13, part two of the Ravens Roundup. This is Coach Evans. Make sure you uh, follow me uh, on, on Twitter and hit me up at Coach Evans 9 if you have any questions, any requests, uh, all that, uh, all things Ravens. Just just hit me up and we can talk about it, discuss it going forward. Well, uh, Lamar's the starter. Uh, looks like he's going to be the permanent starter for the time being. Uh, there's a lot of hate out there. You know, when it comes to Lamar, it's a lot of love. It's like a torn franchise. But the common denominator is we're winning and we're back in the playoff hunt. So whether you love it or whether you hate it, Lamar's the QB going forward, uh, especially with a big game coming up against Kansas City this week. But let's talk about the good and the bad Lamar Jackson of Week 13 versus the Falcons. Let's jump right into it. Added a few extra things this week to kind of give you some uh, some stats to kind of see what he does and what he does not do. Uh, these are Lamar Jackson runs, next-gen stats. This is obviously his touchdown run, which is one of his longer runs. This red indicates the two fumbles he had. And uh, every other run is kind of in between, what's that, 15 to 5 yards. And uh, what those runs do is they keep us out of third long situation. It may not look like much during the game, and it may look like he's running too much. But these little yellow runs right here keep us out of a lot of third long situations. The green runs are obviously uh, longer than 5 yards. And um, he, obviously his touchdown was about 11, 12 yards. That was a big run. Let's look at his passes for the week also. He was uh, twenty. He was 12 for 21, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this pass right here was a drop by uh, Sneed. I think this pass was a drop by um, a Crabtree. This was a deep ball to John Brown that uh, he absolutely missed. And this was another deep ball. I'm not sure it was two. But it's some good and bad from uh, Lamar this week. And, and as long as he runs the ball the way he does, or, well, has the team running the way they do, uh, you'll have a lot more open uh, throwing lanes for him. But what we want to see is a lot more green in this 20 to 10-yard range, and that will really set us all right. So getting to the film, we're going to start off with the bad plays for Lamar. Got John Brown in motion right there. Obviously, Lamar's that quarterback. Simple. He has a lane right here to throw the ball. John Brown's coming through, you know, untouched, un unbumped, or he's the open guy. This so it's the right read. Completely inaccurate throw. Threw it behind the man. Threw it so far behind him, didn't have a chance to react and try to catch the ball. Got to work on the accuracy. We got to stick those plays. And see, that's third down. That would have put us right, maybe at the first down, and kept the drive going. So I'm sure we punted after that. Another bad play for Lamar. Got a, is that that's boil in motion? F uh, play action. This is the play. This is the big miss. All right, let's go back to it. Everybody know he missed the ball, John Brown out here. But let's see what the the makings of the play is. All right, it's play action to get those linebackers to move. So let's watch these linebackers on the play action. Because we've been running so good, look how tight they suck up. So now our John Brown dudes had to split the middle which he does a good job of. And most of the play is going this way, so all of these defenders are going to flow that way. Everybody's, look at everybody's flowing toward the top of the screen. And Jalen Bryant is going to break them off. This throw he has to hit because he has all this grass to hit it. Put some put enough air on it for John Brown to go run up on it and go get it. So if this ball was thrown more toward here than deep, John Brown would have made it run up on it and get it. But these are throws he got to have, he got to stick for us to be successful going forward, especially with a high power for Kansas City coming up Sunday. Some more bad Lamar. All right, he's sitting in the pocket. The pocket's not great. It's not great. There's Lewis getting beat inside. Lewis gets beat. Dixon doesn't chip. He's just trying to sneak out. He should probably see the chip right there and help Lewis out. And the pocket's starting to collapse now. All right, now, at this point, if nobody's open, I, I can't tell because of the view, he should just come out of there running. Instead of he stutters and somebody sticks a hand and he gets the sack and the ball comes out and everybody know what happened after that. Sometimes you have to be what you are, Lamar. You know, if you're a runner and when it's the breakdown like that, run. I know we don't want you to run too much, but in that situation, don't, don't try to be what the people want you to be. Be Lamar Jackson. And right, this is the second fumble. All right, for those of you that don't know, this is some kind of power run. It was it was third and short. Third and short. 
And look at all these guys. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guys in the box. 10. They, they jammed it up. Linebackers flew over the top. They jammed it up. He had nowhere to go. What you did not notice is what Lamar saw. Now, look at that gap right there. He can shoot right out there, make this dude miss, and he's off, to, off and running. But the key is he stumbled. He This stumble right here knocked the ball out. So nobody hit the ball out. There was no none tugging up the football. He just slipped. And when he slipped, his knee knocked the ball out from himself. They got it back. This type of stuff happens when you have an athlete like that because they can 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 move so fast and you know when they get out of a uh, athletic position things like this happen. This is a fumble. I'm really not mad at. You know I hate that it happened. You know ball security probably could be better, but this is a, this is one of those anomaly fumbles. This is not like that sack fumble you just saw. Sack fumble he can prevent by uh, putting two hands on that ball and once he feel the pressure just go ahead and taking that sack. This is just something that happened. Being an athlete and losing possession of the ball. Let's get into the good Lamar now. Get into the good Lamar. This is the Lamar nobody wants to give credit to. Most of the guys want to talk about the hate. End cut by Crabtree. Look at that. Keeping the play active. Keeping the play alive. That's all he's doing. Got an end cut by Crabtree. Who's up here. That's what he want to come to. He's not there. He comes off. John Brown's not open. Look at that. Crabtree plays the... Uh, Scramble drill and gets over. Lamar Hitson. We don't really I don't really condone throwing across your body like that, but this type of athlete he is. Good job extending the play. RG3 coming in motion. Play action to RG3. Look your tight end. Crossing it. Tight end cross. Stick it on right there. And get it to him so fast he's able to slide and get up and attempt to get more yards. Another good throw from Lamar. Nobody wants to give him credit for it. The ball has zip on the ball. Look how, let me go back to that. Look how fast and clean this ball got to him, got to Boyle. So he had time to catch it, get up, and maybe attempt to get more yards. That ball got something on it. Get the man credit where it's due now. Another good Lamar play. I think this is his touchdown. All right, running us. Power, lead option to the right. All right, we got a crack block by Sneed. Uh, Crabtree should block his man head up. Head up. Uh, we should be coming out here to one of these guys, the pitch guy. One's going to be um, blocked by the fullback, and the other one's the pitch guy. Let's see how it plays out. All right, first one to show up is the pitch guy. Both of them kind of at the – now, he's out here on the pitch guy. Quarterback man's taken. Lamar keeps the ball. Cut it up in there. That's it. That's how you run it. Quarterback player was blocked. Pitch man went to the pitch man because the defense has assignment football. Quarterback keeps the ball. Get in there. All right, this is week 13, part two of the Ravens roundup. Uh, Lamar Jackson, good and bad plays. And like I said earlier in the the um, breakdown, the analysis, Lamar's our QB going forward. Like it or love it. Deal with it. I'm glad he's winning. Uh, he's going to have to control the ball this Sunday versus Kansas City. I think we can take the formula that Dallas had against the Saints and use that, and if we can do, kind of duplicate that, play good defense, control the ball, time of possession is going to be big, and do not turn the ball over. Stay on schedule, time of possessions, eat the clock up. Same thing we've been practicing on and doing so well the next three weeks, we should be able to come out of Kansas City with a victory. And again, this is Coach Evans, Ravens Roundup. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share it on all your social media platforms.